we just learned that they have euthanized Peanut. And um, the raccoon as well. And the raccoon as well. Um, I, I, I am so sorry. I, I, this, is, this must be really difficult for you. It not only tears my family apart, but Peanut was the cornerstone of our nonprofit animal rescue. And 10 to 12 DEC officers raided my house as if I was a drug dealer. I was sat outside my house for five hours. I had to get a police escort to my bathroom. I wasn't even allowed to feed my rescue horses breakfast or lunch. I was sit sat there like a criminal after they interrogated my wife to check out her immigration status, then proceeded to ask me if I had cameras in my house, then proceeded to go through every cabinet, nook and cranny of my house for a squirrel and a raccoon. They got a search warrant? They got a search warrant. Four departments and a judge signed off on a search warrant for a squirrel and a raccoon. And then they took them and killed them. Why did they go through all that to get a search warrant for an animal that had been with you very safely and the world witnessed this for seven years. Why now suddenly did they show up with a search warrant and, and take these animals? We haven't a clue. We don't know who made the, com uh, the, the complaints. Again, Peanut was an uh, indoor squirrel not harming anybody. He's been with us for seven years. Not a single complaint was ever filed for this animal. We had him for seven and a half years. He became the world's most famous squirrel. We weren't hiding him by any means. He was all over TikTok. He became the first squirrel on TikTok to ever hit a million followers. He did every news station around the world. He's helped people. He's helped kids gather joy. And then we started a nonprofit animal rescue called Peanuts Freedom Farm to help animals like Peanut fight a good fight when they're in a neglected case or they're sitting in a slaughter auction. And he was the cornerstone of our life and our organization. We used his platform to help raise money for the 300 animals we have at our sanctuary. How did you find out they euthanized Nina? They haven't messaged me. They haven't called me. They haven't given me a formal statement whatsoever. The last time I heard from the DEC was when they left my house. Another news station called me with their statement, and that's how I found out Peanut is gone. They didn't even have the heart to call me themselves to tell me what was going on. This state has more problems than a school and a raccoon, and we're using our taxpayers' dollars to help take these animals out of a comfortable place, all because of some paperwork? The statement releases is released that Peanut bit one of the people. Peanut's bitten me five times in seven years. Peanut also is an animal that only knows me. So why wouldn't you have protective gloves on and protective equipment to allow an animal like him that to bite you? Also, to be honest with you, I don't buy it whatsoever. That's I didn't know about um, squirrels ever in my life. And when I came to Peanut a couple of years ago, like he would have never bitten me. He never bit me. The complaints were, were told are anonymous. So anonymous claims got the state to get a search warrant, which was signed by multiple different departments and a judge. So I want to know what the evidence was that this was such a devastating thing to the community that we had to waste tax taxpayers' dollars and ruin a family in a nonprofit animal rescue because we have power. Will you be taking some legal action? Oh, you, the firefight has just begun. Um, this needs to be used as an example of how this state uses their resources and their power. Not only that, the only source of income and donations have come from Pe Peanut's social media. I don't know how I'm going to run the nonprofit animal rescue with over 300 animals at my sanctuary right now without the funding from Peanut. Yeah. My wife and I work three jobs to pay the other 50% of the $20,000 we have to accumulate in funding a month for these animals. They just took my best friend for the last seven years. And the sanctuary is called Peanuts Freedom Farm. And you just took Peanut out of the Freedom Farm of our organization. And everybody looked at it like it was just nothing. This is the DEC who is supposed to be helping animals out of bad cases. And you came to a case that had animals in good possession and you took them and killed them. Not only that, you just put the entire organization in jeopardy because I don't know how we're going to fund this organization anymore without this social media. I haven't a clue. Somebody said Democrats really killed this dude's MF and screw. So he's got a screw there. And I don't know how did he domesticate it. I don't know what's going on here. I've never seen any, anything like this. It's a peaceful bruh who just has a squirrel that can do tricks and crawls on him and all kinds of just silly stuff. 
We just, what is going on? Why is the government involved with this at all? It shows you the government will off you in a heartbeat. It shows you what they really think. That To me, this ties in with abortion. They know what abortion is. I am pro-choice legislatively. I know that's a disagreement with a lot of people, but I don't view, just I don't do drugs, but I actually do think it should be legal. Yeah, disgusting, harmful, all that, but I think you should have the right to off yourself, if you, or not like that, but hurt yourself. Like going to McDonald's is hurting yourself. So why is that legal? So if he's endangering himself with rabies, that's on him. There's a lot of things. Do you go parach you know, parachuting out of a plane or you go on a roller coaster or whatever? There's a lot of different things you can do. Put yourself in somewhat danger. That's a pretty cool trick. Is that real? The squirrel's jumping into his hand? That's crazy, man. That's like talent. Like he's almost speaking to the animals like Harry Potter or something. And I'll tell you what the real story is here. I'll, I'll tell you. It ties into SNL having Kamala on. What do you think if SNL, if Kamala's people called and said, we want Kamala to do a like a 30 second hit on you guys. We're, we're flying through. And Comcast, NBC, Universal said, nah, we good. We, we on that Jeff Bezos plan. We ain't getting involved. Get the hell up out of here. If Kamala wins, then there's problems. And it's the same here. The mistake that this guy made was he was large on social media, had a lot of people following him, and he did not bend the knee. The Thrones, Cersei, Lannister. The Democrats are seriously very similar to that. It's more Israel. She's more savage than this, but this is the same mentality. I'm the king. I'm the queen. The Democrat Party, we are the regime. And I guarantee you, if he would have said peanut for Kamala, none of this would have happened. If this bro would have said peanut for Kamala, peanut would still be here. He, was, he didn't say anything about pro-Trump or anything like that. He was just neutral. You look at all of these large influencers, most of them are going, I'm for Kamala, I'm for Kamala. Even some of the ones that didn't. Sexy Red, the degenerate, disgusting black with the stereotypical voice and nature and twerking and all that stuff. She's stereotypical black. Was pro-Trump for a second. Said, oh, some stupid stuff about Trump gave us checks. Now all of a sudden she's like, nah, I'm for Kamala. Why she's not, she might be the stereotypical black, but she has street smarts. She knows when a gang will off her if she doesn't support them. She's not stupid. She might be book stupid, but she's not street stupid. And he missed the memo. They said, the election's almost here. You're running out of time. How about that squirrel you like? Can you imagine how that's, I, I did not predict the Democrats knocking on a nigga's crib to kill his squirrel. I didn't, I couldn't predict that. I couldn't even fathom it. That's where we are. Uh, the way, guys, an election is not fixing this. There's no election that fixes a government that door knocks to kill a bruh's screw. There's nothing, there's no election that fixes that. So as long as, think about that as we stream on Tuesday. It's not to solve any problems. No, I don't want to hear that from anybody. Do you support Trump? I'm not against you. I've never said that. I will criticize you for supporting the Zionists or whatever, but not overall. I understand the, t the position, but don't think it's going to fix anything. They will door knock and then next time it's not going to be the squirrel. That's fu man. I can't even, I can't even, man. Is it just me? Am I making too big of a deal out of this? A fucking squirrel? They busted through the doors like, where the fucking squirrel? Get out! Like, what the fuck? He must have been like, what the hell? They came in through the they came in through the crib with a squad or something and said, "Where's the screw? We know he's here." Man, this is it's getting real, man. It's getting real up in here. We do the joke about the knock all the time. I never in my life did I think it was gonna be, nigga. Where's the squirrel? What? Well, you talking about Peanut? He's right there. <laughs> he probably wanted to do that. Open fire right then and there. <laughs> what are you doing? And nobody cares. And nobody, people are talking about it online, but that's a small percentage of the country. I, I asked my wife, I was like, did you hear about, I'm trying to see if I can get anything. She's mentally, I'm telling you what she's doing. She's mentally blocking it out. Remember the story of the COVID where they started killing the dogs? That was one of the moments my, my wife was like, no, they weren't. I was like, let me get you a link real quick. And she's like, oh, that's not a trusted source. Then I said, okay, you, you only want these certain sources. Okay, let me get you another link. And I can see it in her face. Wait a second, what's going on here? And she's still, I think she's mentally blocking out these stories so she doesn't have to deal with the reality. And that's many people. 
I said, did you hear about what happened in New York? Do you have any thoughts or concerns? They knocked on the door to, to kill a nigga's squirrel. That this dude never hurt anybody, never did anything. How would you feel if you're Dexter Taylor right now? I don't mean to laugh at that. It's not funny. It, this is not funny. But when you think about it, Dexter Taylor's a 53-year-old software engineer from Brooklyn sentenced to 10 years in prison for manufacturing unregistered firearms. Maybe he's just making his own firearms, ordering the stuff online. 3D printing type stuff. I'm not an expert in that part of it. So 10 years. He's like, he didn't get he didn't get one tenth of the press that the squirrel did. New York is savage, man. And I'm in Colorado. They knock they in Colorado, they might knock and say, Were you laughing about what New York did with that squirrel? A fucking squirrel, man. What's this from Steve's Steven, what's up, Steven? Uh, we chat on Twitter some to see him on Twitter. Justice for Peanut. I, I actually am serious. I, it just it just it's just weird, man. I don't know where we go from here, man. This is not a good sign. It's not a good sign. Middle MAGA.